I just arrived back at the Seminole Hard Rock in Tampa, Florida for another round of slot play. I'm going to start today with Autumn Moon, but before I do, in this video, I'm going to tell you a story about the Mirage. As you know, they recently closed, and you've been hearing a lot of things about them. But I have a story about them that you may not know about. And that starts right now on the Gadget Guru. Okay, we're on Autumn Moon. I'm going to start off with one of my favorite things. I have $455 worth of of free play. Oops, I have to hit a button here. And we're going to start with 10 cent denomination. Here, of course, I have to get the winnability up. And we're going to start with $5. Now, here's the reason I'm starting with $5. I did a poll a few weeks ago on my YouTube page at Big Edge Guru. And I was asking people, what level of play do you enjoy watching the most? Well, as you know, there's a lot of people who play some really large dollars. They said there's not a lot, lot of quality videos out there, people paying $5. Paying $5. Paying $5, and that's what we pay for spin. Okay, we start off and got half our bet back, and I'm wondering if that's too loud. Yep, I'm going to turn that down just a bit. I think my, it might be just fine. And again, yet I'm trying a different mic up here on the machine. Oh, 1040. Okay, we started with 455. Wouldn't that be great if we could get a nice bonus here at $5, and then we stair-step our way up and do it all on free play. Of course, I have another ticket here to back it up just in case that doesn't work. But if nothing else, maybe I can get the machine warmed up with the free play. Okay, we have cookies. And of course, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, 10 cent denomination. I told you five dollars per spin at this denomination at 10 cents. The mini is at 100, the minor is at 500, the major is at $8,500. That's high over here. There is a machine over here, a high right next to me that uh, a gentleman's playing on that has a maxed out, and I believe the max level is a $10,000 major. Uh, you know, I've been pretty lucky on majors lately. I had my first big major on an autumn moon. It's one right near here uh, in the high limit room. And then I had two back-to-back -back majors on Buffalo machines on the main floor when I was here just 10 days ago. But anyway, here. I'm one of the... I was wondering if it was a mistake turning the volume down, but I think that's okay. Okay, $10.50, a little bit more than double my bet. Come on, that's three ball. Okay, just like I always like to do, I'd like to tell you what you're watching here. You need three balls, three, excuse me, six balls, three moons. The autumn moons here are wild. Uh, that's one moon, we need three of those. That will take you into one type of bonus round. And of course, if you get the six balls, that's a hold in spin, and that's two. Okay, that's four, not enough. You know, I tell you, after, you know, not being here for about 10 days, and, you know, when I come in, I shoot about 8 or 10 videos, you know, per, per trip. It's hard to kind of get back into the swing, because I'm really excited about coming in. And, you know, just to kind of get back in the, the video hosting mode. But, oh, by the way, I told you I was going to tell you a story about the Mirage Hotel. Okay, let's turn the clock back to November 1989, the Mirage opened its doors, and let me tell you something, it was a truly revolutionary hotel. At that time, I was a newspaper columnist. I had just taken my column from being a local column in the Tennessee newspaper in Nashville to it entered syndication, and I was at that point probably 20 or 30 papers, and that's as it was just taken off around the country. I was also, I was one of the first newspaper people to start putting my content online. Back then, this was before the days of AOL. Uh, in fact, AOL started with a company called Promenade. AOL started Promenade for IBM compatible, and then AOL for Max came out afterwards, and that company just, boom, took off. Well, I, when, when I was there the next month, in the first week of January, for uh, the Consumer Electronics Show, this was going to be the first big test for the Mirage having, you know, a huge, huge convention and people wanting to go to the new hotel. Well, about a week or so before, I contacted the manager introduced myself and but this is before the day of the internet and i said you know i i'm going to be there covering the electronic show and technology but you know what do you have what is what something that the mirage is doing different that is just on the cutting edge he goes 
I have just the thing for you. So, you know, I came in for CES, and I went over to meet him. He gave me a full tour of the hotel, took me behind the scenes. It was really amazing. He spent half a day doing that. And when he showed me something, he goes, I know this doesn't look like much, but this is going to revolutionize the, the hotel industry. Remember, back then, you pretty much used a regular key to enter the door. You check in, you a key on a key fob. Electronic keys were somewhat new. By the way, we haven't hit anything yet. We're somewhat new, but they haven't gone mainstream yet. Well, what, what they did, they came up with a key. It looked like a regular key. There were no teeth on the key. It was just a kind of a flat key. And it had three magnetic strips on the side of the key. So when you would insert that into the lock, they would know when somebody was going into your room or leaving the room. Uh, it was just really an amazing thing at the time. And also, if, let's say, remember, this is, you know, a gambling city, Las Vegas. If there was ever anything missing out of your room, they could tell you when somebody entered or left the room, you know, to say, okay, you know, now we check the cameras to see what was going on there if it was foul play. But, you know, that technology, and you look back at it now, you know, you go back 35 years, that was really big. And the Mirage was one of the first hotels in the country to do that. Also, if, you know, if you look, while, you're, while you're there, if you lost your key or something, you just go up to the desk, they can wipe that key and give you a new one. But that was my Mirage story. And I tell you, the hospitality they had there, especially during their biggest convention of the year at the time. Back then, it was CES and Comdex, which were the big shows. And Come on, two more. Uh... You know, I got to remember, I'm playing here. That CES and Comdex were the two big shows there. Uh, and for him to take the time to give me a tour when all these people were funneling in, that was just really gracious of them. Now, of course, I ran this story. And, uh, you know, you fast forward a number of years down the road, and electronic keys are the staple. I mean, I can't remember the last time I stayed at a hotel that did not have an electronic key. Okay. You know, we haven't had any action on this. I just tried to tell you a story to stall the time in between bonuses. But I have a few things I'm going to try different on this trip. So we'll see how that goes. But my game plan here was, you know, by popular demand, let's start with $5. If I get a bonus, then we go up to the next level, which on this machine, I believe, is 10 But on the moon, you sure look lovely today. You would sure look even better if you gave me a bonus. You know, that $8,500 major, I've been spoiled but here at the Hard Heart Rock. The majors have, you know, I won't say can, been coming quickly, but they've been generous to me. Okay, $2.50. Okay, out of moon, we got to wait to it. Maybe it knows I'm on free play and it says, I'm not going to pay you out in free play. You got to put your own money in. But. I have a $1,000 ticket right here, but I'm hoping I didn't have to put it in. But the good news about playing $5, the money lasts longer than playing you know, 10 15 25 or whatever. You know, I'm wondering if I should change some things around here. Because really, you know, again, I like to go on the 100 to 1 theory. I've talked about that before, that, that you need to have 100 times your bet in reserve and put it on the machine. So if you, if you only have $100 to spend, well, that's a dollar per spin. And that gives you 100 spins to try to get the machine to wake up and pay. Okay, we have bunny rabbits and queens, four of a, um, three of a kind, four of a kind tens for 1960. You know, the good news is that the machine's going to be this slow. I'm glad I'm not betting more. You know, on the machine, I have two microphones. I have... A, a road, I think of an NTG, uh, and you know I've been using it. That's been pretty good, but I keep trying. To, I'm, I'm keep trying to take it because the thing is, I like separating the machine and my voice. Because I want to go to edit if I say something 
time or whatever. It's easy to cut it out without interrupting the slot flow. But the hard part about getting the machine is there's so much background noise, there's music. You don't want to, oh, that was fine. You don't want to get copyright strikes or anything like that. And up, oh, here we go. I, you know, I thought that was going to hit. But the hard part is it should find the right microphone set up at different volume levels where you can get the machine without getting a lot of background noise. You know, it's getting louder here. I'm going to turn the machine up a bit. Okay, Autumn Moon. Remember, I used to call you August Moon. If I call you August Moon, you'll give me a bonus. But I'm hoping this new mic, well, it's not a new mic, it's an older mic. It's the Sennheiser MD46 that I have on the right side of the machine. Oh, that was three, double noiser. But it has a new XLR recorder on there. And it's using 32-bit float. And I use 32-bit float on the, on the other, on the both mics. And what's good, when it gets loud like that, I can adjust it with, it, it records without distorting. Okay, three more. Okay, come on. Come on, three more. Oh, four, two more. I only needed two. I asked for three. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's see. We have three cookies, three knives, and four of the fan. Okay, we got a few more spins on free play. You know, if I have to put money in, I think I'm going to go to $10 to spend. Okay. Okay, let's use drag. This is like every possible chance. We have a winner now. Will it be a winner? Okay. Oh, not too bad. We have four of a kind queens. Okay, we have one more spin. Okay, bunny rabbits. I don't think that's enough for a spin. That's 280. We'll try the It's a 56% chance. Come on, three more. Oh, look at that miner's there. That would have been $500. Okay, let's put some money in. I have $1,000 here. Now, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do $100. I'm going to take it down to $900, betting the five. So, you know, it's funny. I was playing one of the machines. A video I posted last week where I did five, 10, I think 15, and 25. And when you look at the payouts percentage wise, the five-hour bets, I think, had the best percentage. Not the total, but, you know, the, your return on investment. And that was kind of interesting. You know, that's what's nice when you record your slot play and you can go back when you're editing it. You look at it and you say, hmm, look how I did here. Okay, we're back to even on this buy-in. Okay, one more. But I really would to give, give a, a $5 hit here. But... I think we're going to do, we're going to do three more spins and then we're going to go change the bet around. Okay, we got five of across cookies. Good song, $44. Okay, that's one of the better line paints we've had so far. I can't believe we're not getting that many moons and we haven't had the full balls yet. four dollars and fifty cents that means it cost me fifty cents to spend that time that time it cost me what was it? we have three nine one dollar cost me four okay we have bunny rabbits all the way across oh it's playing that song we like that we like it when it comes up here because that means it's a pretty good win let's see how we did here fifty dollars that's a ten times you know, anytime it shows your win up here and it plays the song, it's pretty good.
You know, sometimes all it moves is hit, you know, fast and hard. And sometimes it just takes your money away. Okay, one more. We have two minutes. Okay, I'm going to take this down to a thousand to my original volume. And we're not counting the free play. Oop. Accidental fast spin. Okay, we'll do. One more spin, and we're going to change the knobs. Okay. Well, not deep. Let's see. If we go to, if I go to 25 cents, I'm going to, let's do 10 and 10. Why is that not working? Yeah, let me go back here. 10 cents. You know, that happened to me once before. Here, let me try that again. Oh, okay. I think I had something on the counter. Okay. We're at, we're at 10 cent denomination, $10 per spin. Let's hope we do better than we did at five. I mean, we're not going to do worse. Okay, out of moon. Are you, don't make me call you August Moon. I already told you that you looked lovely today. Love that jewelry. Like that headdress. Come on, Autumn. Be nice. See, this is reality. You know, when you sit down on a salt machine, and, you know, if, if, you, if you watch some of the videos, they sit down and only show you the bonus rounds. This is why we, why I like to produce the full rounds. Okay, we have fans. We have four of those, three queens. Cause, so this way you can see that sometimes bonuses can come quickly. Sometimes they can be good. And sometimes they're slow and sometimes they're low. But on this trip, and I'll wait till tomorrow morning when it's quieter. I'll go down to the main floor. I'm hope, I hope to get up really early tomorrow morning. And I'm going to try those buffalo machines again. They were good to me last time. Two majors, back-to-back. -back. When I say back-to-back, -back, one machine side by side. And they were good majors. One was uh, 3,000, one was 4,000. That was good because I was down. See, that's why we play slots, because, you know, it only just takes one spin to go from the red to the black. But anyway, if you have a good Mirage story, feel free to share it in the comments. Okay, three dollars and forty cents. I'm starting to get a little dismayed by Miss Autumn Moon. If she didn't pay, I'm not going to feed her. I'm going to. Well, that's famous last word. Okay, moons. Okay, remember Autumn, six balls, three moons. Give us more than three moons and more than six balls. But save the balls for the bonus round, some big ones. Again, minis at 100, minors at 500, that majors at 8,500. Now, at this level, you know, I'd like to say the grand is 104,000, but at this level, I don't have high hopes for getting. Come on, one more. Oh, and I saw it just passed right there. You know, it's a $100 mini in there. So far, you know, the 10 cent denom on 5 and 10 just doesn't want to hit. Okay, we have 10 for $5, half my bet back. Better than none of my bet back. Okay, we have the mandolins all the way across for $40, I'll take that. Of course I will. Come on, two more. 
Oh, I, I know. I should have said thank you, Autumn, for that. For that four times. Three. Thank you, Autumn. Oh, we see that minor for $500, but we need four more balls to go along with it. Because we had two. Okay, you got to be about 20 minutes so far. Without a bonus. This is really sad, isn't it? But I feel a bonus is coming. Okay, here we go. I've done this with Autumn before. I've, it worked with Huff and Puff a few times. I'm going to count down. We're going to get a bonus within five spits. Five. It's two moons. We need three. Four. That's two moons again. Two and two. Three. Oh, that's not bad. We have bunny rabbits all the way across. We have tens and fans. Okay, that's what we have. They're playing the song. We're going to get that up there. Okay, oh, 132. That's good. Hey, Autumn, you're looking better. Okay, now I think this is two. Come on, moons. And one. Okay, and one for good luck here. No, but that was a nice one, pay. Oh, we're getting threes. Two, fives, and no sixes. You know, Vegas, man. Yeah, we had a nice, had a nice conversation with them last week. And I love his say. <laughs> You're get five a lot. That, and he's made Sando a household word. We don't want a Sando today. This is one of the longest spells I've done without getting any kind of bonus. Again, we had that one nice line pay. Oh, oh, look at that, five a lot. Okay, let's do this. Nice machine. Okay, we have chickens all the way across. For $26, okay, that's good. That's a positive number. We have cookies again. Are you waking up, Autumn? Okay, good. That we made 20 cents on that one. Wah, 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 wah. We don't like that set. That's better than no set. Okay, one moon, two moon. Two cookies and an autumn. Four. Two dollars. Okay, we have fans all the way across. We have a kind tens and nines. Okay, it's making that sound again. And that's 134. Okay, Autumn, you're keeping me in the game. Okay, you're saying, hang in there, Gadget Guru. Okay, $17. Come on, moon spouse. Boy, what is going on here? You know, Autumn can be naughty or nice. I like it better when she's nice. Come on, ooh, triple noiser with only four balls. And that was a $150 ball in there. Maybe she's waiting to give us that major. On a $10 bet, wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, three kings plus a wild. Remember all of us wild here? And two moons, $12. Up, oh, that's four. Nope, nothing. Come on, one more. Come on, you gave us two. Couldn't give us a third. Now, are you under the theory that if you go a long time... Okay, we got it. I was going to say, if you go a long time without getting a bonus, does that mean there's a pent-up bonus in here? Well, we're about to find out. So let's get started. We have $20 to get started on the Three Moon Scatter. Six games. Okay, remember when we get the doors there and they open, those are matching symbols. So come on. Oh, we want a bonus and a bonus, which would be six balls. 
Oh, are you bald? Nope. But we're wild. We have jacks all the way across. Okay. There were $27. That wasn't. Okay. Be bald. No. Two more to go. Uh, Autumn. Okay, 39 total. Okay, what do we have here? We have 10. Oh, that's it. That wasn't too great. So here's what we're going to do. We are at $45. You know, $1,000 million. We had $455 of free play. Let's do five backup spins. And then we're going to try something else. I'm not giving up yet. Okay, we have five of the kind nine. With the wild. Okay, $35. Button got a little sticky there. Okay, we have cookies for seven. I lost count. I think that's the spin number three. Okay, three or uh, four more. And let's do one last one. Okay, tell you what we're going to do. Oh, wait, what do we have here? We have mandolins all the way across. Okay, we got to do three more. Now. She's saying, please stay. Don't worry, I'm not going away. I'm not done yet. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go 25 cents, and we're going to go $25 denomination. Now, this is the maximum that I bet per spin is 25 But I have to tell you, if you watch my video, I had a really nice major. I think my first big major was $7,000 on Autumn Payne. 25 cents at $25. Dollar den uh, per spin. 25 cent denomination, $25 per spin. See, coach is still trying to get broken. Okay, $27.50, I'll take that. Anything that's a positive number is a good thing. Autumn, I really don't want to feed this machine. That, that took a long time to get a bonus, and it wasn't that good. Maybe Autumn was telling me, you're not betting enough. You're not a bet more, so she can pay me better. I'm becoming a bit dismayed. Okay, five dollars off a twenty-five dollar bet. Oh, look, that minor at twelve hundred fifty. Oh, I forgot to tell you, at twenty-five cent denomination, the mini is at two fifty, the minor is at twelve fifty, the major is still at eighty-five, eighty-seven point seventy-nine, and rising. Okay, last chance here. My moons, moons, moons. No, okay. Again, this just goes to show you, not all slot rounds are winners. You know, gambling is risky. Make sure that, you know, again, you've heard my three rules of gambling, and I'm going to repeat them in case you're a new viewer. Number one, only bring money in the casino that you can afford to lose. Uh, num uh, number two, oh, I almost forgot for a second. I don't know about you. I don't sign my name in the casino. The exception is if I sign my W two uh, my W two G form. Uh, but I'm not big on borrowing money. I'm not big on markers and credit lines and all that's just me. Number three, I don't drink before or during a gambling session. Afterwards, that's another story. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. That's it for now. I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Parr. Thank you for watching.